Evening everybody, Chop Pell Martin the Melody here. I hope you're going well. I, I had a good weekend thanks to going out to South Hall and following the footsteps of Blair Peach, so go check out my recent vlog. Now today we're gonna be talking about gambling and why I don't like it. Gambling is a huge problem in the Western world, right? It's not just in Australia, New Zealand or America or Canada, it's basically just everywhere. And, and literally, I, I kind of believe people in, well, China or communist countries or like Muslim countries that don't allow gambling, that still gamble, you gotta look at gambling as a negative way. I saw plenty of anti-gambling ads, you know, call the G-line, unscramble problem gambling. You see a video of basically this guy who's gamble like his savings away and so his family can't buy goods and his wife goes ape shit at him, leaves him and takes away the children so he ends up calling the gambling line to like unscramble it. Later on growing up I get my responsible conduct of gambling certificate. This is a certificate or a license I have to get if I want to work in casinos or with like poker machines. You do this course for seven hours, just basically learn the signs of people from the gamblings. And honest to God, there are people who go to these places. They'll go there with a photograph of themselves and say, I'm a problem gambler, please do not admit me into this place ever again. If you see me come in, please tell me to leave. As a 21 year old, if I ever saw a problem gambling or people basically asking for money for gambling, I have to like turn them away and like give them advice. When I was 22 years old, uh, my mate Rick and I, we used to go to this place called Dooley's in uh, Lipkin. And before we had a succulent Chinese meal, he would go and have a go at the roulette wheel. He would go to this like, video roulette wheel saying, Oh, let's see, I'll pick black, I'll put in 10 dollars, 20 dollars. Oh good, it's black, I won 20 dollars. I got membership to Dooley's one day when I was like 22, kind of 23. It wouldn't matter if I was like gambling, so or or just going in for a Chinese meal. So this one day, I actually won like 170 Australian dollars just by putting in 50 dollars in like wheel. wheel. Then the next week, all right, I had a total pot of 180. Like I just only put 20 in and I gave it to 180, but then I lost it. And when like, I lost it, I ripped up my Dooley's card and I thought, I am not going to go into this place again. I said, I'm not going to gamble. So then, a year later, I ended up going to Dooley's. I ended up like, just going there to see, oh, let's see if I can try like the will, will again, let's do it. Put $20 in, end up like getting to about 150 but not cashing it out, and then losing it all. Then I feel like quite, quite bad. And then, this was 2009. And then I did not gamble again until December 2012. I was in Cairns, Australia, seeing my dad over Christmas. And he goes, he takes me into the casino because he goes to the casino not to gamble, but basically just to watch like live music. So I, I take a, I don't go to the actual physical wheel at wheel. I basically just go to the video one and I put about like twenty dollars in it. The, the horrible thing is basically I lose my twenty dollars and then that's a sign like like stay the hell away from gambling stop it like don't, never gamble stop it and gambling isn't just you know to do with casinos I mean <clears throat> you send in an SMS for a competition that's gambling you buy a raffle ticket to win like a jar of a long lose or a big prize that's that's gambling you basically you know you pay fifty five cents for a stamp on an envelope to, to, to get into a competition, it's still gambling. Uh, you send an SMS, you know, to hopefully like win a prize, gambling. But um, in my late 20s and early 30s, I got really so disgusted at all of the, you know, Tom Waterhouse, TAB commercials all over Australia. I mean, growing up, I can clearly remember seeing commercials for TAB. But then, you know, when I, I got my RCG certificate, basically, it, I learned that it was actually illegal for a pub to advertise in the windows, let's say we have pokies, like, at the Bullface Stag, you can't, you could not have a sign out, out the back saying, hey, we've got pokies, okay, you could have pokies, but you had to basically put them in a different room that was separate, and you couldn't basically have an open door, like, showing people to the pokies. Because there's different like laws and regulations in Australia. 
I immigrated to the United Kingdom in 2015, and I'm just really disgusted with all the visible casino shops, the fruit machines and the pubs, the extra pokies that are being advertised, and all the gambling ads. And in my entire British life, I've never gambled. I swear to all the gods on earth, all the religions, all the colors and the creeds, all the people on earth, that I've never gambled in my entire British life. Never entered any competitions, never, you know, placed a bet on anything, ne never even been to a casino. I mean, the last time I was in a casino was, uh, yeah, like, uh, I remember one time I had a bad incident at a Crown Casino where I worked there and I quit because of some, like, this bullying. But, like, which I didn't go there, like, to gamble. I didn't go to Crown Casino a few weeks prior just to, to watch, like, the AFAB movie. And that was pretty much about it. But I was just watching this program tonight on the on the UK television about like, well, why is there so many gambling ads in football and it's really disgusting? And I talked to this this mother and I talked to her daughter about the loss of their son. Thanks again, like he blew like a five figure, six figure sum in gambling and then he committed suicide. And I thought, man, that is just totally screwed up. Like, how can one human being be sucked into all this like crap? So I kind of wish the United Kingdom would take a good stance against like gambling. Like number one, don't have any commercials that advertise it. Number two, like if you're gonna have poker machines in a pub, like hide in a way and keep in restricted areas. Like and number three, teach people about like the signs of problem gambling, so they can, so one guardian angel can help others to get help from the problem gambling. That would basically make a huge impact. Like, the, cause the thing is, I've well, I've worked at football games in the past, in, when I lived in Birmingham, just selling like, food and drink, and I just, I'm just really sick and tired of seeing all these, like, gambling commercials. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you people in the Western world are also tired of it, too. I have a brother in Australia who basically, right, he is a qualified teacher, but he will not do his teaching job full-time. He'll just do it, like, here and there. He'll spend most of his time gambling on the stock market. Or he'll spend most of his time gambling on sports. And the horrible thing is he's 40 years old and he still lives with his mom. He's not been outside of Australia in 13 years. He hasn't seen his dad in so long. So, like, he... Uh, so, his father once said to me, Oh, Martin, your brother is wasting his fucking life. And I agree with that. Like, you know, me being on 85 Nations, you know, being in bed with 50 women... You know, being in London for like the last four years, I, I take honor like I would have like done in my life, and I'm kind of glad that I've never gambled. So, give the fist and the finger to problem gambling. You find somebody who is a problem gambler, help them out. I'm Martin the Millhead. I'm over and out.